Okay, in this video we're going to focus on blackfish behavior during the day. Uh, this is eastern Long Island Sound off the North Fork. Pretty shallow, only 15 feet of water. 73 degree water temperature, end of September. It's still very warm. Um, we'll see lots of blackfish. And uh, we'll try something a little different around the middle of the video. Uh, we'll try feeding them. Blackfish love crevices. They love it when there's a couple of rocks next to each other. Um, here's a perfect example of how they're all just packed into this one space. Okay, so uh, there were two dives that contributed to this video. You can see the difference in the water clarity. Uh, actually, for Long Island Sound, this video here was shot under very good conditions. Um, but the, the first segments there were just superb uh, uh, visibility conditions. We've got some yellow coral type stuff there on the bottom of the sound. sea bass off to the side there. And you'll see uh, you know, just blacks are schooled around. Uh, they really favor certain rocks and uh, this happens to be a good rock. Okay, so uh, note on this rock there's plenty of blackfish. And in a minute we're going to show you why you might not want to use soft bait when you fish for them. Uh, especially this time of year you really need to stick with the crabs and it's uh, pretty amazing what happens if you try to catch them with clam. And mostly we're seeing blackfish on this rock but uh, the bagals are there. Alright so I picked up a clam off the bottom. I haven't found, uh, haven't been many clams around, but I happened to find one. So I'm gonna break that open. And see if somebody wants to eat. Yeah, these little guys are already lining up. Yeah, who's gonna be first to give it a bite? Okay, so imagine if you put a baited hook down there with worm or clam. What do you think you're going to catch? Blackfish comes in, the other guys scatter. So they can come in and grab some pieces if they want. I mentioned two dives contributing to this video. Uh, one dive is about 800 feet off the beach. The other one's only 500 feet off the beach, and uh, they're just about a mile and a half apart, two miles apart. Okay, so what I find interesting here is if you look to the right of the screen, there's a pretty good sized sea bass just sitting there looking like he wants to get a piece but 
Um, unlike the blackfish, which just barge in there and take what it wants, the sea bass is almost shy about moving in there and grabbing something to eat. Um, it's much different than the blackfish. There he goes, finally. Well, the blackfish, when they want a piece, they're just going to come in. small skimmer clam. It's hard to believe there's anything left in that clamshell by now. Okay, so by looking at this video, I would think that a striped bass or a bluefish or something that wants to get a meal would have a pretty easy time in this location. That there's just so many little fish around, little bagals and so forth. Um, they could just a bass could just move in and suck one of these down um, in a second a few seconds you're gonna see something that's um, that that was real an eye-opener for me to see that uh, the, the pickings are not so easy after all okay it's coming up poof gone in a flash in a millisecond these things scattered I don't know why they did um, I don't think either one of us moved real fast I don't know if something shot over our heads there were blue fish around I'm not sure but uh, that was interesting. Okay, um, blackfish really have strong preferences for a particular rock. It could be uh, a dozen rocks in an area, they could look pretty much the same. The blackfish are going to home in on one particular rock. And that rock will be the good rock year after year, even decade after decade. Um, we're coming up on one of those rocks right now, and we're not even to the rock yet. It's not that small one that you can see there in the video, it's, it's beyond that. Um, before we even got to the rock, even though the visibility is good, um, we couldn't see the rock yet, we saw a big school of blackfish. There's just that many on this rock, and luckily we've got some nice visibility here, so we're going to be able to go in and, and, and see quite a few of these. And it's just amazing how many of these fish will gather around one particular piece of structure, and then a uh, similar structure that's, I don't know, 75 feet away, Almost nothing on it. Look at all of those. Okay, that frame, those few frames there gave you an idea of how shallow we're actually diving because when that fish went up towards the top of the rock, um, the sky wasn't far away. Okay, this fish, this is very interesting. This is a very large fish. It's at least 12 pounds. It's probably more than that. A fish of this size is old. Look at his eye. He looked right at the diver. This is almost an arrogant fish that looks at the diver again. He's not scared at all. He's been around a very long time. He'll just go his merry way. The diver doesn't phase him one bit. <laughs> 